Hi, we're, we're men, men and, and we're, we're here with... with... <laughs> we can be like, JD. I'm JD, I'm Michael. This is JD Sampson. Michael O'Neill. From Men, and we're here with Rhapsody. You know, when we started this band, it was very important for us to um, implement our interests in um, all kinds of visual arts and performance arts. As we've moved on and started touring all over the world and stuff, it's hard to bring along friends who are performance artists and also to create visual components to the show that we can bring everywhere. So I think definitely it's been a struggle for us to kind of keep that element alive, um, but it's definitely a very important part of what we try and do as a band. In terms of the live show, I want them to feel a part of something and to feel support and, and a community and something is happening that's very special. And I mean, I hope that that same thing occurs listening to the music too, but I think in a room with other people, you know, there's a shared experience there. There's something about the emotion and uh, just like the intonation and stuff of, of seeing someone feel something live is really different than just hearing it the same way every time. I wrote a blog for the Huffington Post called I Love My Job, but it made me poorer, which I know is not a word, but <laughs> I made it up. And um, <laughs> I was wondering about that. Actually. Well, it was kind of like in Be Like This. Don't I say, don't I do something else like that? Uh, do you? There's, a, there's some song where I say, oh yeah, he writes something laying in his bed and he wakes up more richer. Right. That's so weird. I only talk about poor and rich. It's tough to be 33 in 2011 and a musician. But I do, I wanted to add, um, I guess, that Hester Prynne, also known as Julie Potash, um, she's a musician also, wrote this tweet a couple weeks ago that was like, being a musician in 2011 is being uh, is, is like being a stockbroker in 1920, and um, that really hit home for me. Given the state of the industry, we what's next for us is getting creative about how to release music and how to be musicians and survive. Yeah. <laughs>